Nano Tyrannus is real. As a kid, if you were injected with even a milligram of Dino Dork Juice, you've definitely heard of Nano Tyrannus, a slippery little weasel of a Tyrannosaur that's been spoon feeding anxiety to dino nerds for decades. And all over one question was it really its own Tyrannosaur or just a young T Rex going through its 2008 phase? Well, this debate has finally been put to rest thanks to the dueling dinosaurs. An incredible fossil specimen containing a mid sized Tyrannosaur, nicknamed Bloody Mary buried alongside a triceratops, but we don't talk about that. So when researchers sliced open the Tyrannosaurus femur and examined the growth rings inside, they found that despite its size, it was a fully mature adult around 20 years old when it died. But Nano Tyrannus wasn't just a short king version of the Tyrant Lizard King. Compared to T-Rex, it had a shorter, narrower skull, more teeth that were thinner and blade-like, a unique air-filled chamber in the back of the skull, longer arms and legs for its body size, and even a tiny vestigial third finger, which is pretty cool. Nano Tyrannus was basically the speed to T-Rex's Half-Thor. And it was so distinct that it might have even belonged to its own group of tyrannosaurs, one that branched off before the lineage that gave rise to the king tyrants. So 67 million years ago, T-Rex was not alone. It had a pesky little cousin zipping around like it was on Cretaceous crack, taking down prey the king couldn't hope to catch with its tyrannical gullet. This probably means that Nano Tyrannus would have gone head to head with young T-Rexes, which were just as quick and equally pesky. And now this discovery forces us to rethink T-Rex's entire growth history, since years of research were built on the assumption that Nano Tyrannus was just a juvenile Rex. But hey, that's science, baby. So the pygmy tyrant is real. Somehow Jurassic Fight Club predicted this. And remember, that shit was on on the History Channel.